In today's video, we are going to be going over previewing WWE Hell in a Cell and giving you our predictions on who we think will win each match. Hell in a Cell is a Raw exclusive show and is most definitely going to be a historic one. If you have not heard some of the matches that will be taking place, you will want to stay tuned and find out why it will be so historic. The first match we got here is Enzo Amore and Big Cass versus Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson. Gallows and Anderson are trying to make the tag team division a no fun league, no pun intended, NFL. But it seems as if they are the only ones not having fun after losing multiple matches for the tag titles. Enzo and Cass look to keep their losing streak going this Sunday at Hell in a Cell. But I think it's about time we see some relentless aggression out of Gallows and Anderson that results in them picking up the win. The next match we got here is for the WWE Rag Ta Raw Tag Team titles. The New Day versus Cesaro and Sheamus. I'm not sure what is more strange about this match. The fact that there are three people sharing two titles or the fact that Sheamus and Cesaro, two bitter foes, are tagging up in a match. The New Day have been holding the titles ever since uh, The Undertaker used to show up on Raw. Since Brady was deflating footballs, you know, since Raw is actually worth watching all three hours of, okay, okay, not, not that long. But, you get the point, these guys have been tag champs for a long time, and WWE loves to create these odd factions with two people that you wouldn't really expect to be partners, and that is why I think Cesaro and Sheamus shocked the world this Sunday and win this match. Then there is the Cruiserweight title match of TJ Perkins versus Brian Kendrick. These two have been around each other since TJ Perkins first started stepping foot into the squared circle with Kendrick getting yet another title shot. I think he takes full advantage this time and rolls in a W. US Champion Roman Reigns vs Rusev in a Hell in a Cell. I'll give WWE some credit here. They realize that we the WWE Universe have been seeing a Reigns vs Rusev matchup quite some time now and we were for sure going to fall asleep five minutes before this match even started. So they made it a Hell in a Cell match. All of a sudden, this has turned into a must-see match. And no, not because Lana will be there. Well, kind kind of the reason. That's kind of the reason. But Hell in a Cell matches are exciting and unpredictable matches in itself. Expect Reigns to win this match. And I'm predicting we see a spear through the cell at some point in time during this match. Then we got the WWE Universal title match inside a Hell in a Cell featuring Seth Rollins and Kevin Owens. Ever since Rollins turned his back on the authority, he has been in quite the bumpy road. The fact that this is inside a Hell in a Cell means that Rollins will not have to worry about outside interferences. Or does it? What if we see Jericho come out and attempt to break into the cage, causing a distraction. Could this ultimately cost Rollins a match? Probably not. I think Rollins recovers from this distraction and later loses to Kevin Owens via a power bomb on the steel steps. You know that if Seth Rollins doesn't injure another wrestler before that match ends, then you know you can expect to see that. If not, maybe not. Finally is the WWE Divas Championship match, Charlotte vs. Sasha Banks inside a Hell in a Cell. Can you believe WWE is pushing this as the main event of Hell in a Cell? Hopefully it doesn't leave us second guessing WWE's decision here and we see these two Divas steal the show, leaving us in awe. Is it too much to ask though for these two to get into a fight on top of the cell? I think not. I mean, what's the worst that can possibly happen up there? Maybe I've been playing too many WWE games, but here's a bold prediction for you. Sasha Banks will put Charlotte through the top of the cell and pick up the W.